Yo, what's going on everyone? It's Corbin, and today I am checking out the new Warlock map in Halo 3. So before we get started, I would like to say if you have not already checked out his previous maps, which include Lockout and Sanctuary, they have the same treatment as this map and they look glorious. Basically, he takes the Halo 2 BSPs, he upgrades the geometry, and he also adds all these amazing new PBR based shaders. And they just look amazing in Halo 3 with its lighting and everything. It just looks great. Like, if these maps were lost on a hit, like a secret Halo Bungie hard drive in the past, and then they were updated and brought out just now, I wouldn't be surprised. They look so great, so natural. And yeah, let's check them out. So, going back from Lockout and Sanctuary, we got. Warlock, the third map in the collection. I'm not sure how much of these maps he's gonna do, but I mean, as you can see, it looks like a whole new map. I mean, you can see that it's pretty based off the Halo 2 version just because he has a lot of the same, like, you know, things going on with the Geo, but he added so much bevels and edges and, you know, just detail that the map needed to really stand out and to look complete, you know. I mean, Halo 2 was a and Halo 1 itself, you know, they were very basic in geometry, very blocky, simple. As they also still looked great, you know, especially for their time and everything like that. But coming into Halo 3, I mean, the treatment he does for these maps is phenomenal. And I'm not, I'm not just saying that because, you know, like, it, this, let's just go look at some detail. So first of all, look at these shaders. I mean, just moving around them, like the wetness on the floor. You know, like, it just looks so good. Let's go over to, like, where the water's coming down. Let's see a little, some a little dripping over here. Got some, you know, moisture, and it kind of keeps going. Keeps building up. You got some more over here. Then you got this big-ass tree. Look at all the leaves and foliage. And, man, I mean, he really does, like, do that chef's kiss thing, you know. <laughs> and let's see. Let's just keep going. We're just going to keep going over Oh, we got more water. Yeah, it got the big drip. So this is like what Halo 3 really does well. And I mean, this this just looks great. Look at how these leaves are floating on it and just like in a little wavy fashion. Like that's just amazing. Like <laughs> the HDR in this game looks great with the lighting. And then going down here it just keeps getting better. I mean, God, look at this. Look at how the water's coming down like, ugh, god, it's so good. Coming out of the crack, oh my god. Sorry, I almost had to pause the video, I was getting too excited. Um, but I mean, there's just so much little, little things that you can look at. But, you know, that's just on the ground surface level of the map. Let's like, let's jump up and start exploring, let's, let's fly. So if you come up here, you get to see even more. I mean, good god, it looks like a whole single-player mission just hanging outside the map. Before, it was like almost nothing, to be honest. Like, it was very basic. One thing I didn't really like about the map back in the day, I would always super jump up there and look outside the map and see nothing, and I would cry. <laughs> like, honestly, I would, I would be depressed. I'm still as a little kid. But, I mean, God, look at all the stuff he added. It makes me wish that he used these in a single-player mission one day. Hey, man, if you ever want to make a single-player mission, throw these inside them. It would be amazing. It makes me want to break out of your map and explore just like I did on Halo 3 maps back in the day. Like, I'm so curious. You know, and that's really, like, that type of detail is really what makes these type of maps stand out. It makes them look alive, like that story. Ugh. But yeah, it sucks I don't have any friends because I can never play these maps, you know? Honestly, I have some friends. I just don't really have the time to gather them, jump into these lobbies, and make a video, and make my own mods. Ugh. That's just a lot of time. But y'all wanna know what would make that possible? Three for three if you're listening. Custom game browser. You got one already, right? It works great. Now, I heard from a little bird that you guys are allowing mods to download automatically once you join someone in a modded lobby. So I'm pretty sure that was said on a stream, so I'm pretty sure that's confirmed true. So, if you can just enable people to join, 
modded lobbies on a custom game browser that you already have, and then it automatically downloads the mod with the new feature you're adding. You're technically adding a custom game browser for mods. So if that's not your plan 3 for 3, I don't know what the hell you guys are doing. I mean, sometimes I feel like you guys are doing great and you know exactly what, what's up and what's needed and what people just want. But sometimes 3 for 3 does some things, or Microsoft or whoever, and it just really, really makes me worry a lot about the future of Halo. So, you know, I'm just gonna say it. There you go, 3 for 3, you have a golden ticket to make this damn game last another 10, 20, 30 years. And not just, just, not just this game, like the whole entire collection of MCC. I mean, people still mod Halo CE because you allowed that type of uh, freedom and, you know, openness. But yeah, anyways, guys, I mean, that's exactly why El, El Dorito was almost popping off as well, so. Yeah, let's, let's look forward to the future of modding, especially if it looks like this. But that's it for this video, guys. It's Corbin. I hope you enjoyed. Please go give this mod a download. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And subscribe for more content. If you love Halo and if you love modding or playing mods, checking stuff out. If you want new content that's loyal to the Halo franchise, you will see it on this channel. <laughs> and I will catch you guys on the flip side. It's Corbin. Peace out.